Okay, this is uh, video two of the uh, commutative property. We did the note card and we talked about how a commute is to go from A to B and back from B to A, point B to point A, and each way is the same distance. The commutative property means that if you have two numbers that are being added together, they can reverse the order and the answer will be the same. Uh, and what we're going to do on this one is we are going to take this term or this statement, all these statements, and turn them into expressions. And then we're going to plug in a number for n. So what we're going to do is say a number, right, n. So n. Oh. I got to change it to this thing. N increased. We talked about increased. Increased means plus, right? Like in these type of statements, increased would mean plus. So we'd say N plus seven. And then what we're going to do is say, well, this since this is addition, we can also make it seven plus N. So we can say or seven plus n. And what we want to do is test it. Are they the same? So let's make n equals 10 on this one. Let's let's just try it. So um, if n equals 10. We'll put that down here. If n equals 10, we'll just plug it in. We're just making that up, right? We'll say 10 plus 7 is 17. And then over here, we're testing it. We want to say, let's say 7 plus 10 is also 17. So this one is check. It is commutative. So if you want to, we can write it in, but we can say this is commutative, right? meaning you get the same answer either way, okay? Now we're gonna try the, below that, we're gonna go down. If n is increased by four, or decreased by four, so we know that decreased usually means subtraction. So what we wanna do here, n is decreased by four, we will say n minus, because it's being decreased, so we start with n, n minus four. And we'll say, let's plug in if n equals 10, so right, we'll try this out, n equals 10, we'll go 10 minus 4 equals 6. That makes sense. Now, does it work if we reverse it? So, or, let's try it, 4 minus n, does it work? So, 4 minus 10 gives us negative six. This does not work. So we're going to get a big X over here. We're going to change it to black and be like, this does not work. So we're going to say not commutative. So not, right? Not commutative, right? Because we tested it and we know that since it's subtraction, it proves that we get a different answer. Remember, we got negative six and positive six. All right, let's try uh, this one. Eight more. Oh, no, let's go down here. We'll go down. Let's do, let's go uh, five groups with N students in each group. So we're going to come down here and we're going to go back. Let's find uh, orange. Let's say five groups with N. And now groups sometimes means division. But if you have five groups with N students in each group, doesn't that mean multiplication? So wouldn't that be five, right? times n, right? Or you could say n times 5. Now plug in 10 for n on that one. If we say 10 equals n equals 10 again, what do you get? Well, you would get 50 and you get 50. So this one is a check. This is commutative, right? So we know that's commutative. And what I'd like you to do is do that for each one. We'll do, hmm, let's do one more. Let's do eight more than the sum of six and n. Think about this one. Eight more than the sum of six and n. Think about what those words mean. I'm going to leave these with you. I'd like you to maybe work ahead with these uh, next three with um, your teacher, with me in class, or on your own. And uh, let's see how we do. All right, guys. Have a great day. Remember, this is also to be written down in your notebook. These example problems will be uh, sent to me along with the note card.